Sir, I am not able to get a software testing job. Sir, I have tried. I have basically applied for hundreds of times. Uh, HRs are not replying. I am not able to crack an interview. Right, I am facing these kind of issue. Sir, trust me, I am not able to get a job in software testing. What should I do? So these kind of questions I am continuously getting, right, guys? So today. I'm going to discuss about the reason, the top reason why you are not getting a software testing job. All right, let's get started. So disclaimer, guys, uh, you can basically fast forward this video. You can make it 1.5x or 2x so that you complete the video. Right? These are very, very important topics. I'm going to share my learnings also. Why? What are the top reasons which are stopping you to become an automation tester or a software tester? I need to say. First of all, you are not prepared well. The reason number one is you are not prepared well, guys. You basically don't know how to work with the projects you don't have a hands-on on the live projects even if we talk about manual as well as automation both of them you still lack in the project's knowledge whenever you have this lack of knowledge related to the live projects trust me you will not able to jump into software testing right you have not basically get the trainings right you are not aware about the list of topics that need to be followed or that you should know right that's why one of the reason that you are not getting uh, into the software testing. Second important point is related to the resume. Almost like 80% of the time your resume is not getting selected. If you are facing this issue, let me know in the comment. Just type resume in the comment. If the problem is your resume, what do you need to do? Promote, tell me please like what you exactly have to do. I'll tell you like clearly the first problem is basically you are creating a journalized resume. You're not creating a personalized resume, right? Many times in my last video, I discussed about right how keywords and descriptions are super important in the resume. Whenever you prepare a resume right you have some keywords and a description which are basically match to the profile so what you can do is you can install the extension job Lytics chrome extension it's a chrome extension prepare your resume it should be a personalized one according to the job that where you are applying for example suppose you are applying for wingify software tester open the job profile open your resume and use this tool which is job Lytics. match the keywords it will give you a score Make sure your score is more than 50%. Then only it will match and your resume will get selected. This is a hidden truth. Nobody is telling you, trust me, give it a try, right? I have done it multiple times. Second important point why your, why your resume is not getting selected is you are doing a direct apply. If you are doing a direct apply, give me in the comment, yes, I'm doing direct apply. You will have only 25% of the chance according to one of the survey that I have basically read, right? So instead of direct apply, I would recommend you to go with the referrals. What are the referrals promote? You can ask from your peers or the friend. Check out your circle. Check out your friend circle. Who is working where? If they have an opening in their company, right? Almost 70% more chances you will be get selected, right? If you have a referral instead of a direct apply. So this is one of the survey that already done in Indian market, especially I'm talking about, especially in US also, it works in a similar way, right? So these two things, just fix those things. Prepare a customized or you can say personalized resume for that company and add keywords and description properly and use referrals if you want. If you want a referral, uh, hit me on the comment that I want referral. I will give you my email ID. You can mail me also. Third important reason why you're not getting the job, right? Which is you don't know the topics exactly. So there was a person who said, Pramod, I know manual testing. I have done some videos over the online. Uh, I know the concepts. Can you take my mock interview? I said, okay, yes, let's take a mock interview. When I started the first thing, which is he didn't have any knowledge about the what are the columns in the test cases can you imagine he doesn't know that there are steps to execute right there is expected result actual result no idea about it why the reason is basically the problem is the hands-on first of all uh, basically he has not completed any hands-on right only watching videos he was just ready right second important point was he has not followed a proper roadmap what are the different topics that you should know to become a software tester, right? I have basically discussed the roadmap right now. Roadmap video is already live. Make sure you watch that. That roadmap will basically give you a holistic view, right? What are the different topics that you should need to basically learn, right? So please follow that. I think the topics knowledge is super important. The second last most important principle, please pay attention right now. What I'm going to say 95% of the time you are either planning, you are researching, but you are not doing action. Only 5% of the time you are doing action. What do you mean by this promo? See, I want to apply for a software testing job. What I will do is I will prepare my resume. I will do this, I will do this, I will do this, but I am not applying actually. I'm just thinking about in my mind, okay, what should I do? How will I reply? What are the things I not? right? 95% is your planning and analyzing. Only 5% is your action. Don't do this, don't do this. Do this reverse. 
where five percent of your planning planning can be okay i will apply on 20 jobs that's it i will prepare this resume this is your five percent after that 95 percent will be okay i want to apply 10 jobs daily I want to contact 10 HRs daily. I want to get 10 referrals daily. This is how you will get a job. Trust me, this is how only you will get a job. I have done it and this is the only way to get a job. You have to basically do 95% should be your actions, not your planning. So only 5% are planning, do actions, fail. Try, fail and try again. Remember that principle, okay? And the last reason guys, very, very important, which is you are a quitter. Yes, you are a quitter. Why I'm saying this? Because you are a crybaby. Crybaby basically means you apply for two jobs, then there is no response. Then you will say, okay, I cannot get into the software testing now. Why? Reason, why? What is the reason? I have basically, see, when I was a fresher, right? When I was in Bangalore, basically I got rejected for more than 27 times as a fresher. Can you imagine? I have applied for tech support job, SEO job, uh, digital marketing one. I think that was there. There was related to ETL testing, software testing and other things, right? So I got rejected many, many times, but I was not a quitter. I didn't quit. I was just keep on applying, keep on applying. I was a hustler and I basically increased my friend circle then I got to know about an opportunity where I have joined a service based company. That's how I joined it, right? So please, please, please pay attention to this principle. I hope you get some value from this. Like and subscribe for this kind of video and please share this video with someone else why they are not getting into the software testing. I hope you have liked this, right? Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.